As we inch closer to the second launch of Starship, the hustle and bustle at the Starbase launch site intensifies. This site never sleeps, and today is no exception. We have a fresh update that's the talk of the town. But before we dive into the details, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep yourself updated on the highly anticipated second launch of Starship. Recent weeks feel reminiscent of the days leading up to the first Starship launch. Before that major liftoff took place, the path was filled with numerous delays and regulatory hurdles. Today it seems we're seeing a repeat of that scenario, as SpaceX navigates through similar challenges and bureaucratic processes. Exactly one month ago, there was a strong sense of confidence that we would see the rocket take off. SpaceX even took the step to fully assemble the rocket and set a launch window. However, these plans were halted when the FAA did not grant the needed launch license. As a result, the rocket was taken apart. But the Starbase launch site is rarely quiet for long. Just a week later, in a move that raised many eyebrows, the rocket was put back together. The reason for this move isn't clear yet. Adding to the buzz, there are now rumors suggesting that SpaceX might have placed Ship 25 on Booster 9 as a nod to the Cybertruck. In a twist that further fuels the speculation, the Cybertruck was spotted at the Starbase facility yesterday, reportedly carrying the Raptor vacuum engine, possibly for a photo session. What's confirmed is that just a week after this grand assembly, Ship 25 took a step back and was removed from Booster 9. Such short-lived associations in the world of space tech always stir emotions. One moment that stood out was the workers' precision while handling the connection ports just before the D-Stack. It offered a glimpse into the immense nature of the task without overhyping it. And what made this intricate process appear so seamless? The brilliance of the Mechazilla system. Imagine a tower standing tall like the mightiest skyscrapers, stretching out mechanical arms to interact with the mammoth starship. Utilizing specialized hardpoints under the starship's wings, Mechazilla lifted the 50-meter second stage with ease, separating it from the super-heavy Booster 9. This mechanical titan, handling a 100-ton spacecraft with ease, then set it down on a waiting platform. There is widespread speculation about the reasons for this destacking. While some suggest it could be linked to the flight termination system, this operation doesn't exclusively fit that narrative. With no updates from the FAA, a forthcoming launch seems improbable. But as with all things space, expect the unexpected. Speaking of Booster 9, it currently resides on Starbase's unique orbital launch mount, utilizing sophisticated clamps and umbilicals to keep the Starship anchored. The anticipation builds as we await Booster 9's next move. Turning our attention to Ship 25, even though it has stepped back momentarily, we eagerly anticipate Ship 26's static fire test soon. Ship 26 has been comfortably positioned on Pad B since last month, but its days of dormancy could soon be numbered. We send our best wishes and keenly anticipate its next steps. In a significant update, Musk recently shared insights on Starship's progression. Expressing cautious optimism, Musk discussed forthcoming Starship launch plans, spotlighting integral modifications for the spacecraft. During a conference on Thursday, he remarked, Of course it's the first time we're doing it, and I'd say that's the riskiest part of Flight 2. He further elaborated, If the engine's light and the ship doesn't blow itself up during stage stuff, then I think we've got a decent chance to reach orbit. It's worth noting that before the first flight, Musk had set expectations with a similar candidness. He had stated, SpaceX's Starship has a 50% chance of success on its first orbital flight. Musk had humorously added, I'm not saying it will get to orbit, but I am guaranteeing excitement. His candid approach has always kept space enthusiasts on the edge of their seats, eagerly awaiting every development. One of the pivotal updates is the decision to hot stage the Starship. In this process, the second stage engines are fired up even before the two stages have fully separated. While the Soviet Union once adopted this approach for SpaceX, this will mark a novel endeavor. Financially, the integration of hot staging might imply added research, development, and testing costs. While exact figures remain confidential, Industry experts estimate that such advancements could push the Starship program's budget upwards. Yet for Musk and SpaceX, the potential payoff, both in terms of technological success and long-term savings, justifies these initial investments. Musk, always straightforward in his communication, didn't hesitate to convey the risks associated with hot staging. 
Labeling it as perhaps the most precarious segment of the impending flight, he asserted that navigating this challenge successfully would considerably bolster Starship's odds of achieving orbit. After stage separation, the plan is for Starship to take a short trip around Earth and then land in the waters near Hawaii. But the intricacies don't end with hot staging. Musk also brought attention to the yet-to-be-tested heat shield of the Starship. This component is crucial for the spacecraft's re-entry, protecting it from the intense heat generated during its descent back to Earth. Musk voiced concerns regarding the heat shield's performance, highlighting that its real-world efficacy remains an unknown variable. He didn't stop there. Musk also made a bold statement regarding the timeline for Starship's operational readiness. He declared that it would be approximately a year before the company's new Starship vehicle would be equipped and prepared to start launching satellites. While this timeline showcases SpaceX's drive and commitment, it does appear overly ambitious, especially considering the stringent regulations and oversight from government entities such as the FAA. SpaceX envisions Starship not merely as a vehicle for earthly explorations, but as a key player in the grander vision of Mars colonization. He elucidates that the Starship's immense size is crucial. Why? Imagine embarking on a prolonged voyage to Mars. A cramped space would not bode well for crew morale. Musk's ambition is clear. Transport 5 million tons of equipment to Earth's orbit, which could facilitate sending about 1 million tons to Mars. It's audacious, but with Musk's track record not beyond the realm of possibility. He believes an unmanned starship could touch Martian soil within three to four years. And once refueling infrastructure is established on Mars, Starship could potentially traverse the solar system. SpaceX's Starship will inevitably be a revenue powerhouse. Between launching next-gen Starlink satellites, astronaut and cargo missions to the ISS, and bespoke satellite missions for clients like the U.S. Space Force, the potential is vast. Add to this the myriad of private space tourism ventures and SpaceX's trajectory seems stellar. Musk anticipates a surge in Starship launches from South Texas and NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Within a few years, he envisions a dedicated launch site at Cape Canaveral. Considering the sheer volume of launches, SpaceX might also contemplate sea platforms to handle the traffic. That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more all the SpaceX updates you'll need.